Hello and welcome to all you Geminis. For you, this horoscope is the monthly horoscope for August of 2021. Very short one. It's a, uh, I want to take a bit of vacation here. I'm trying to, but actually it's, um, to be honest, it's really not that much happening in the sky during the month of August. That doesn't mean to say that for some people it's going to be very important, but in general for the Gemini, it's not the biggest month. And um, that is because you're a mutable sign. And even the first week where there's a bit of stress going on, it's actually not really in key areas of your life. Because a lot of the focus that you are going to um, uh, feel for the uh, Geminis is on the mind level. Um, and also a bit on the family level, but in an enjoyable way. Let's break this down. So... What actually is happening is that the first, let's start with the first week, that tension again that is going on. I keep on talking about the Saturn Uranus square. And that's actually for a whole year. And every now and then we're going to feed it a bit more. Um, for the month of August, it's going to be the first week that you're going to feel it quite a lot. But again, as I said, for you, this is going on in the mental houses. So this is more about new ideas that you want to implement, um, but that are still a bit unconscious there. And there is a stubbornness in wanting to shift your perspective. And um, so that can come up the first week, especially as the Sun and Mercury and Leo uh, are going to be in your third house of thinking. Now again, for you, it's not that harmful or difficult or painful or whatnot. Because Leo energy is going very well with Gemini energy. So you're going you're gonna to sort that out. Just be sure that there is sometimes a stubbornness in you trying to communicate to others. And that that has to do with your own uh, ideas. Make sure that you're not falling into dogmas and this is the rigid way of thinking uh, and so on. Go a little bit more for the um uh you could say the overall perspective as urine is in, in your 12th house and i think you're gonna be fine then so the first week can be a bit of tension there other than that you have some amazing energy going on in your fourth house because venus um venus is making tons of aspects this month that's quite rare I mean, tons of aspects with outer planets. And when that happens, it means a colorful, colorful Venusian period. And Venus, of course, has to do with relationships, has to do with value, has to do with trying to connect. And for you, the first 17 days of the month, it's in Virgo, which is your fourth house of home. So the fourth house is a house of home, the house of family, the house of your parents as well. Um, so with Venus there, it means reconciliation. It means to easing up that connection. So if that connection with a parent or uh, just in your home life was a bit stressful, this is good energy because it's more fluent and it's making beautiful aspects so that you can, like a diplomat, connect in a better way with these people, people who are important for you. So that's nice. And around the 17th of the month, this Venus goes into your fifth house in Libra, which is the, as from the 17th and onwards, it's a fantastic time for you. It's not only uh, Venus that's there, but also your ruler. Um, uh, no, I'm, no, no, no. Your ruler is not going to be there. Sorry, by it. but Venus is there. And that shows that it is time to have fun. It is time, maybe you're going for a trip or maybe you're, you're just enjoying yourself. Um, you're connecting better or easier with your kids if you have them or doing some hobbies, some projects, things that you love to do on an airy level, going out with some friends, having, go to a restaurant, have some fun um, and enjoy life basically. That's Venus in, in the fifth house. Um, so especially for those Geminis who have, quite a rough time in those all those eclipses that you just had happening in your sign that kind of demands a lot of shifts it is a bit of a, a, a time where you can say I can let my hair down and I can just have fun a little bit you know without thinking about it too much 
And then Mercury, your ruler, as I said, is in that third house uh, of Leo up until the 12th of the month and then shifts ag again also, not again, but also in your fourth house of home. So it's not only that you can relate better to relatives around the 12th and onwards, but it's also with your communication. Um, so thinking a lot about your roots and your home life and uh, but do it maybe looking at some old pictures and whatnot, but in a very, um, in a very gentle, understanding way. So all in all, a good month for the Gemini and um, a month where you can certainly have some fun. I recommend you to do that and I, I don't think that's going to be hard for you. And, um, you know, Gemini's after all, they, they kind, they're, they're playful and that's their, you know, their strength for sure. Have a very good time during August. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.